Hi, I'm Molly Thurston with Pearl Agricultural Consulting. And today on our BC DAS video, we're going to talk about the Campoloma or Mullenbug model. We're going to start with some monitoring a Campoloma in the orchard. Using a beading board, we're going to go out and perform some limb taps, looking for Campoloma on the beading board using the hand lens. I can use the hand lens in order to look closer at the insects on the beading board to identify the Campoloma and to be able to identify which life stage or instar the Campoloma are in. Generally we try to time our Campoloma control sprays at the petal fall timing for apples. This is important because although the peak hatch happens shortly after bloom, a number of the products that are available to us for control of Campoloma are toxic to bees. So we need to use good stewardship when using these products in the orchard. Campoloma has five instars of NIMS. The DAS will show you on its models and charts the number or percentage of Campoloma in each of the different instars as it relates to the degree days in the development of the pest. You can use DAS in order to time your spray for approximately the third instar nymph and this will also correspond with approximately the petal fall timing in the orchard. The highest population numbers of Campoloma in apples and pears tends to be around the bloom timing and therefore it's important to get on the spray at petal fall timing. Sprays that go on after petal fall will become less effective and generally the damage is done in that bloom to petal fall period. Generally the Campoloma will attack the smaller size fruitlets. Once the fruitlet has reached the six millimeter size it is not as susceptible to Campoloma damage. You can see in this image a fruitlet that was attacked much earlier in its uh, growth stage. Right now the fruitlet is closer to 10 millimeters, however the damage from Campoloma continues to grow with the fruitlet as it sizes up. When looking at the DAS system you can look at the management recommendations and you will need to choose the crop stage. If you select the petal fall and calyx crop stage you will see four options for Campoloma control that come from the BC Tree Fruit Production Guide. There are several neonic options including Admire, Assail, Calypso and you'll also see the product closer. These are spray options that are available to growers for the control of Campoloma and can be tank mixed with other nutrients that will go on at the petal fall period. You will notice on the DAS system that there are no organic pesticides available for Campoloma control and this is because Campoloma is not always a damaging pest. It's usually under conventional management systems where we are already using a fairly broad spectrum insecticide program that Campoloma will show up as a pest of concern. Campoloma tends to be quite tolerant to other pesticides and that for that reason it can become out of balance with other beneficial insects. In organic systems Campoloma is generally found to be a beneficial insect and there are no control sprays listed on DAS for Campoloma for apples and pears. In addition to providing biocontrol for Persilla, Campoloma are also good predators of aphids and mites in the orchard. So a small or low population of Campoloma may not be of concern to growers in that they may be providing useful biocontrol. It's important to go out into your orchard and to do some monitoring. By taking beets of the orchard, you're able to assess whether or not you've reached the threshold for the different varieties of fruit that you are growing. In the past, red delicious and golden delicious apples, or apples of this parentage, tended to be more susceptible to Campoloma damage. You will need to assess whether the varieties you have, along with the numbers that you're counting in your orchard, reach the threshold for action. Thank you for joining us for this brief video on Campoloma or mullein bug control. We hope that you will refer back to the DAS system in order to watch the models and to understand the life cycle of Campoloma and where the critical spray period is around the petal fall timing. We encourage you to join us again for more videos in our series.